what's up hello welcome back to another video so this one isn't going quite how i planned or happening when i planned or how i planned it's just kind of a hot mess okay so obviously you can tell by the title that today eugene my chameleon is going to be getting his remodeling finally unfortunately i wasn't quite ready for that to happen today i ordered a drainage pan for his enclosure that won't be coming in until Friday and today's only Wednesday and I was gonna build him a new stand for his enclosure and obviously I haven't done that yet so the reason I'm going ahead and doing all this today is because my sister's cat now will not leave him alone before he was just interested in the bugs but he didn't really notice the chameleon now he knows the chameleon's in there and we can't get him to stop climbing the enclosure. So needless to say, Eugene cannot stay in the dining room anymore. He's gonna have to come up to my room. So I move a bunch of stuff around trying to find a spot to put this chameleon enclosure. So I moved my little shelves that I had here and I'm gonna put it here and obviously I'm gonna monitor it. I don't really get much sunlight through this window so I'm not too worried. I can just shut the blinds, it's broken, ignore the broken blinds, but yeah. So it's gonna go there and we're gonna try and make it work. So without having the drainage pan yet, I'm just gonna have to put like a towel down on the bottom or something and uh, hope for the best. This also means that once the drainage pan comes in, I'm gonna take his enclosure apart a little bit to put the drainage pan in and get the towel out. It's just gonna be a hot mess, but we're just gonna have to work with it. So my first step is probably going to be the hardest and that is just getting Eugene out and getting the enclosure upstairs. So as long as I can get him out, we're good. I haven't fed him yet and it's going on one o'clock. That's what I usually do to get him out because he's nice and hungry and the things that he'll do for a hornworm when he's hungry. So I'm hoping I can get him out and then get the enclosure upstairs, tear it apart completely. So actually I'll do that downstairs tear it apart completely, throw away everything that he came with, and start over fresh and new. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Boy. Ew. So he must have known the camera was rolling because I've never had such an easy time getting him out of his enclosure. Usually he'll come out on my hand, but he'll wrap his tail around a stick or something. Not this time, he came right out. I am impressed. What do you think you're doing? Get out of here. You're the reason for all of this. To Eugene's old life. So my room looks a bit hectic again because I had to bring everything upstairs after bringing it all downstairs thinking that he'd be downstairs and now he's back upstairs. So there's the enclosure, and I'm going to show you guys what I have to work with. Alright, so for connecting different things to the screen here, I've got some floral wire and some zip ties. I'm hoping there's some small enough in here. I forgot to buy some, so I grabbed these in the garage. I snagged this from the enclosure before when I was tearing everything apart. This managed to stay together and was fairly clean. With no poop on it. So I was like, you know, it's kind of cute. Maybe I'll use it. I'll bring it upstairs. For support and just holding stuff, I have these two garden things. I have the hanging plant hook thing and then just that garden tomato thing. I figured if I attach it to the screen, it'll give me a little more support for hanging stuff on. All right. And then I have three small plants. So I have these two and I forget what they're called. And then this bromeliad, which is look, kind of looking rough. I should probably be watering them more. But so I've got these three little plants. 
And then I've got two of these Fluker's Bender Branch. These are the six foot long ones. So I have two of those. I got them off of Amazon. And then I got this lizard hammock, also from Amazon, that I think comes with leaves. So, okay. But yeah, so I have that as well. I'll put the links for these in the description so you guys can go on Amazon and get them if you would like. And the part I'm most excited for are these big plants. So I have this umbrella plant, and then this one I think is the Dracinia? I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up again. If you really want to know what kind of plants these are, watch my video where I showed you how to properly clean plants to use in a reptile enclosure because at that point I didn't know what all of these were. And then I have these two plant stands that I got from TJ Maxx because we all know I love TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I don't know if I'll use them, but I got them just in case. Also, I want to add a quick note that I did put rocks in the bottom of my plants. That's just to help so there's no eating of the dirt and his last owner said she tried life plants once and he dug them up. So I'm hoping putting rocks in will help keep the live plants alive in there with him. Real quick just to show you how I'm attaching this. I used the floral wire and very creatively used it to sew the bridge thingy whatever to the screen. And then I twisted all the extra, and then I'm just going to cut the rest off. Really difficult to decide how I wanted it but I think this will work for me for now I'm not totally in love with it but I don't totally hate it so I ended up not using a lot of wire I mostly ended up using zip ties because they work so well but yes yeah, so I got these two plants hanging up using those vines I wanted to give him more horizontal perches as opposed to just like this vertical one so I put his stick in here. He likes to sleep on this. So I put that in and then I put this one down here through the plants. So I'm going to keep an eye. If I feel like he needs more, I'll put more in. But I figured this was a good start. Lots of green, lots of vegetation. So hopefully he likes it. the lights are on I've got one light hooked up right now so I've got my UVB and then here I've got my basking and daytime bulb my room is really hot so I'm not turning both of them on right now I'm just gonna turn one on and see what the temperatures get up to and now I've sprayed that's gonna be nice and humid I've got my dripper set up in the back there so it will come and drip down onto the plants and yeah, so I guess it's time to see how he likes it. Yeah, scary. So here he is, trying to be the scary chameleon that he thinks he is. But besides the shedding, he's actually looking pretty beautiful. He really doesn't like me right now. But we're making good progress. You think he's giving up on hissing at me. So here maybe we can see him a little better in his colors. He knows that his enclosure is behind me. Shutting a lot right now. 
But so here's Eugene in all his glory, all of his shedding glory. So this isn't exactly how I planned on it going, but let's see. What do you think, Eugene? He's just like, yep, screw you, goodbye. He's gonna go right to the back and hide from me. Well, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. And we'll see you next time.